That said, too, one thing we've noticed is, you know, many of you have your own workflows, right? You have your own, you don't want to update to Mira's files. You want to update some master repository where you have your own Mira core and, and so forth, right? So what we have is in your settings INI file, we actually have this new setting called auto update URL, and you can pass in whatever you want. Now it defaults to Mira's uh, repository, okay? So the 7.1 branch of our repository, but you can put whatever you want. So it can be your own GitHub repository, it can be your own Bitbucket repository or anything like that. So we, you can just do your own, own auto updates off of that file or that link itself. Now, as Matt also alluded to in his talk, there are some new global directories. Now, that, that's, this is just going to kind of blow your mind a little bit, okay? One is resource bundles. I know not everybody uses these, just in case for those of you that aren't familiar with resource bundles. They're just essentially ways to translate commonly used labels and keys and so forth into multiple languages, okay, based on the, the Java uh, or the settings. And uh, actually, you can modify those in your Mira uh, admin and go change the language and region for your specific site. Okay, if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> and then it'll pull in whichever resource bundle matches that, and if there's a key found in there, it'll go ahead and use that for its translation. You can have global resource bundles. What does that mean? That means that this will apply across all your websites, any different site. So now we have a global resource bundles directory. In addition to that, we have a global modules directory. You guys are going, what is a module, right? Somebody say it, what's a module? I'm glad you asked. Well. <clears throat> First of all, they're not just display objects. Back when, prior to 7.1, we had these, we had a directory called display objects, right? Well now, they're not just display objects, as I'm gonna show you here in a little while. They're modules, because what you can do with these things are so powerful. For those of you that came last year and saw my, or I know there's some in here that saw my presentation last year about doing some cool things with display objects and the new configuration options that we threw into 7.0. You can do all, all that stuff still works, and it's just we put it on steroids, okay? And so what you can do now is you can take, if you want to customize Mira's core modules, okay, which again is in the core directory, Okay, that's on another slide. But you can copy that then and drop it right into here. And any module you have in your global modules directory is accessible again across all of your websites.